All right, welcome once again. I'm Mallory Buford from Fajitas A Go Go, and we are talking about all things fajitas and all the stuff we do. Last couple of weeks, we've been talking about our uh, our involvement with Cereal Griller, the cookbook by Matt Moore, and now we've kind of run out of all the recipes there. So now we're going to talk a little bit about what we do here at uh, Fajitas A Go Go. So uh, we're going to talk a little bit about what we got here is our rotisserie. So we have our rotisserie pork and our chicken. So every day or uh, we load this thing up in the morning and we cook our signature pork and our signature uh, rotisserie chicken. So this is a custom made grill from uh, JNR Manufacturing. They do a lot of barbecue stuff, a lot of smoker stuff. Again, all wood. We use only wood here. There's no electric, no gas. Um, the only electric is for the uh, rotisserie, to spin the rotisserie. Uh, so what we have here is we have our pork butt on the bottom here, uh, and then our chickens obviously up here. So our chickens take about, you know, anywhere between two to three hours depending on how hot this the fire is, and the pork takes about three or four hours depending on, again, how hot everything is. We cook our chicken to about 165 degrees and we take it off, and the pork goes to about 180 degrees. So with that being said, I'm going to show you guys kind of what we do with all this stuff, how we how we cook all these things and how we butcher it and all this stuff and how we get this ready before we put it on this before we put it on to cook uh, so let me clean this up a little bit we just got an order out so, uh, first we'll go over the chicken so this so we get a chicken here so a whole chicken we take whole we take whole organic birds and what we do with them is we take those and we brine them overnight and basically uh, what brining means is we just soak it in a salt solution. So it's about 5% sodium or salt, whatever, and a bunch of herbs and seasoning. We use rosemary, lemon, garlic here. Uh, we'll take that, we cook it overnight. Before we do that, we just kind of trim up the, the chicken a little bit. Uh, we take off the, the wings, we save that for staff meal. Uh, We'll run them as a special, and then what, another thing we also do to help the chicken cook a little bit more evenly is we take the uh, the the thigh bone out. So you just kind of pop the chicken out here. This is a little trick you can do. Take it, and we just kind of push it out, and it comes pretty much almost all the way out. Comes out pretty clean. And we just kind of break that out, cut it off at the down at the joint. So we do that with both sides. And what this does, it kind of helps the chicken cook a little bit more evenly uh, so that the, the, the dark meat and the breast, the chicken breast, cook about the same time. So you don't have dried out white meat and then regular stuff. So pretty much that's it. That comes out pretty easy. Scrape that down. And once we take this out, it should be easier than that. It's usually easier than that. There we go. So that comes out. Then you have your chicken here. And then what we'll do is we'll, we will brine it overnight. After we brine it, we'll take it out and we will tie it. Tie it all up nice and neat. So we'll just take some of the string, go underneath. You just want to tie it and make it a nice little tight little package so when we put it on the rotisserie it doesn't fall apart and fall out and stuff like that. Uh, then once we tie it, we will rub it with a, with a, uh, a rub that we use uh, that I'll show you right here. Doesn't really have to be anything special. You just kind of want to hold everything that together. Then when we put it on, uh, so and then after we do that, we'll save all this stuff for stock or for staff meal or whatever. Like I said, so once we get this, we'll put a rub on this. And so this rub is made with a bunch of fresh garlic, uh, chili or uh, paprika, olive oil, oregano, a little bit of salt, and we just kind of rub this really well and kind of let it marinate. So after we uh, 
So this just gets on here and we put a, we put it all together and marinate it. So we'll have like, you know, do a whole case of these, like 30 chicken at a time. And we'll roast them and we put them on the uh, rotisserie. Uh, so basically super messy, but really good. So once we get a nice paste of this on it, be really generous, put some on the inside and everything. Then we'll let that sit for a couple hours, whatever. And once that gets uh, sits and everything gets all marinated, then we put it on the uh, rotisserie. Uh, so that's all. That's basically our chicken. So we put a little bit more of the a little bit more of the rub on it. Just let that go. And then we'll also, while it's cooking, we also kind of base it with a little bit of this rub or the and butter. We'll base it a little bit more too. Also, while it's cooking over here, every once in a while, we'll just kind of. Give it a little bit of love, brush with some love and stuff on there until it's a uh, nice golden brown. So these are all about going for about an hour, hour and a half each. So they need a little, another hour or so or more before they're ready. Uh, and again, post oak and mesquite is all we use here to season it. So it's nice, flavorful, nice, good smoky flavor. It's not too, too hot, but it's uh, super tasty. All right. So that's our chicken. Then, now we'll go through, show you a little bit about a pork. So the pork here, this is a pork. So we get what is called a pork butt. People are always ask me what exactly a pork butt is and stuff like that, does it come from the butt? But actually, it's kind of a misnomer. It comes from the shoulder. So this comes from the shoulder part of the, of the pig, the picnic shoulder right up here where the ham is, so a little above the ham right around there. And so this is a pretty big piece of meat, about three or four pounds. It's got a, lot, a good amount of fat on it. Uh, this also has a bone on it. We'll take the bone out and then we just kind of, again, and then this one, I'll show you that. Uh, this piece right here, this is called the money muscle. It's got a lot of fat in it. You can see that. That's the part that, every, that all the, whenever people are using like barbecue and barbecue competitions, this is the part they always give to the judge because it's the most flavorful. Just so you know. Uh, so. So with this, there's just one little, uh, this is just the scapula of the pork. So it's a little bone right here. We take this out. This is just the shoulder blade. So we'll take it out. There's a little piece of bone that sticks out. And again, it doesn't have to be super neat with this because we are just gonna kind of roll it all back up and put it on the rotisserie. So you want to try to get as close as you can to the bone so you're not wasting a lot of the meat. And so most of the time when people are doing barbecue or barbecue competition, this is the piece of meat that you'll find. You can find it in the grocery store. It's usually called, you know, pork butt. Boston butt, a couple different things. You can buy it boneless or you can buy it uh, with the bone in. We usually get the bone in, it's just a little bit cheaper, a little bit easier. Also, when you cook it, if you cook it whole and you cook it with the bone, it's a little bit better. So once you get this bone out, all right, so you have this big piece of meat here. We kind of trim it up, look and make sure there's not a lot of fat on it. It's not too bad, this one looks pretty good. Uh, we're going to score it a little bit just to kind of help render the fat a little bit more while it's cooking. And, um, and then we're going to kind of butterfly it a little bit so I can get a lot of the seasoning on it. And then we're going to roll it back up so we can uh, cook it. So once we have the nice piece of pork we're going to put our pork rub on it so this is another little signature blend that we have here salt garlic powder a little cayenne a little pep, uh, smoked paprika some more thyme and uh, oregano on it uh, so this we'll usually season this and let it sit for a couple hours to get a nice little crust on it uh, uh, 
kind of let it get that marinate or that seasoning get kind of into the meat. Uh, so we usually kind of do that like a usually the night before. We'll sit this and then we tie everything and then we'll tie this up as well. So it's a nice uniform piece of meat. So when we put it on the rotisserie, it'll uh, just put it on the rotisserie. It'll be it'll cook a lot. It'll cook evenly, and so we'll end up kind of looking something like this once we get it all tied up and everything. And so that's just kind of that's been marinated a couple hours, probably overnight. And then we'll take that, put it on the rotisserie, and that's what you have there. So it's. And then, you know, like I said, we cook it to about 180 degrees. So it's all ready. And after that is cooked, after that's cooked, we we take it and it's just like barbecue, like pulled. Bar we we treat it kind of like barbecue and make like a little pulled pulled pork. So that's what we have here. Uh, we pull it all. So this is the uh, finished product. Super delicious cooked barbecue and then we'll just reheat it once we uh, get an order for our fajitas we reheat it we add a little bit of our green crack to it make tacos super simple or uh, you know our rotisserie we cook every day we hold them and then when we get an order we put it back on the grill warm it back up and send that out with us so we had to do fajitas with the rotisserie chicken we also do whole chickens we also and then we do the fajita with the uh, pork uh, I guess we can make a couple of tacos with this and show you what this looks like and everything and then should be about, about what all we have so all right so just to keep this stuff from we put it back on the grill put a little bit of the pork here kind of heat it up this way get a little bit more smoke to it so that's good once that gets a little bit hot at the very end we finish it with our green our signature green crack and that is that will be our so you can see it's nice and smoky looking it's got some of the outside you got a little bit of the smoke the charred basically almost burnt ends out there nice moist pork so we kind of then we finish it we also serve it with a little bit of slaw cordita uh cordito which is like a salvadorian slaw uh, to make a nice little, nice little fresh taco. So we grab a what? No, grab a chicken. Yeah, we grab one of our chicken, our signature chicken. So this is once we take it out. This is our chicken. So we keep our chicken warm in a little hot box. So that's the finished product of the chicken. Uh, it's roasted. It's got a nice little still tied up. So you know, if you can see the little wing there, no, there's no, uh, no thigh bone there. It's just nice. We'll cut some of that up and let you see that. But pretty much that's pretty much it, man. <laughs> it's pretty simple here. Uh, you know, again, uh, what makes us kind of different here at Fajitas is like we don't really do a lot of marinades. We don't really do a lot of, uh, we don't, we kind of specialize in making everything super simple, super easy kind of food whatever so just so the food kind of shines just food. What is the, and then um, pretty much that is it what are you doing forks so let's put a little bit of our green crack on here give it a little bit of seasoning a little bit of uh, spice to it So here's so there's a half a chicken right there. Strings off.
Where's the slaw for that? The slaw for the port? Down there. All right, so this is our slaw that we use for the pork, the Cordita, Salvadorian slaw. Uh, take our pork here. And I like it just like that without any like, I mean, maybe just a little pico on it, but I usually don't put any cheese or anything like that on it, make it just super simple. Uh, then, A little bit of pico on it. That's usually how I eat it. Serve it with some. Uh, we'll serve it with some cheese and some, some maybe some jalapenos or something like that with it. But it's very simple. Uh, nice, clean, easy taco. Just let the uh, smoke and the pork shine through. Uh, that's pretty much it. We had. That's all we have for our cooking show today. Whatever. Again, just so you know we do, do we do more things than fajitas and just beef and chicken so we do rotisserie chicken rotisserie pork uh we did our shrimp a couple weeks ago and then look us up under uh the new book by matt moore cereal grillers and then come see us here at fajitas a go-go i'm mallory buford chef at fajitas take care